Hello all sentient beings and welcome to Transmissions Alt Mode where we talk all news, comics, and media related to the... On this episode of Transmissions Alt Mode, we review 2018 survey results as voted on by you, our listener. Today is Friday, January 4th, 2018, and this is episode 110 of Transmissions Alt Mode. Welcome to Transmissions Alt Mode, the podcast that's just going to name the lettering award after Tom B. Long from now on. I'm your host, Charles, a.k.a. Big C, and I'm joined by the excellent Transmissions team. Yusuf, better known as Yoshi. Yo! And Daryl, the Cybertronian Beast. Hey, what's everybody doing? Let's talk Transformers. All right, and uh, thank you everyone for joining us this week. This is our first alt mode after the new year. And we are going to discuss the survey results for the best Transformers comics of 2018. So if you already listened to Transmissions Episode 310, you've heard the best toys of 2018. So here we're going to do the comics. And uh, we've got a lot of things to go through. So hope you're going to have fun listening. We'll be back with our regular show format next week uh, when we're back doing alt mode stuff and actually uh, recording the podcast at a regular time. We recorded this one early so we could enjoy the holidays, uh, you know, without recording on New Year's Eve or Christmas Eve. (laughs) That would probably not go over well with our families. As it is, this is March, and we're just giving ourselves a hell of a leeway. (laughs) So are you saying this entire show is about comics? Yep. And there's no media news? Nope. Yeah. Going on mute. (laughs) How did I know? (laughs) He set it up pretty good. (laughs) He did. (laughs) All right. As always, we thank our Donatrions, the folks who give us money on Patreon and PayPal. You guys are awesome. Thank you for continuing to keep the show going for another year. Uh, And we hope you are enjoying the show and enjoying all those perks. The listening to the show live, getting the monthly declassified episode. Uh, getting some merchandise and swag uh, a few times during the year. Giving us your money. <laughs> I don't think that's a perk for them, but okay. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you just realized never... this. <laughs> yeah, no, I just figured they like giving us money. Otherwise, why would they do it? I, I mean, I, I don't know. You know that feeling you get when you give you know a panhandler a fiver or... Or what have you. I just thought it was like that. Like, hey, now I feel good. I'm just going to go off and listen to somebody else <laughs> that doesn't need money. <laughs> All right. And uh, also, if you if you don't want to, I mean, even if you are a, a Donatron or if you're not, you can still support the show by buying merchandise at transmissionspodcast.com slash shop. That's our Tee Public store where you can get transmissions themed T-shirts or other Transformers themed T-shirts or other shirts from Tee Public. And if you go through our link, it all benefits transmissions. You, we get a tiny little kickback. So, doesn't doesn't Jeremy have that set up so we can get some other shit too? Yes, you can get anything from T Public through our storefront so. with our logo on it. You can get stuff with our logo on it, but stuff also without our logo on it. That's just regular oh, okay. T Public stuff. Gotcha. So if you're buying a shirt from T Public, go through the transmissions podcast link. Yes, that's the bottom line. All right, let's and not uh, by any means a threat. <laughs> no <laughs> it's not an order it's just a suggestion <laughs> it's a really strong suggestion <laughs> all right let's uh, let's get into the survey results uh again thanks to everyone who took the survey uh, as i mentioned in the uh, tr- toy show we had 235 responses so that's a pretty good number i think it's a pretty good uh, section of the community and uh we'll get right into the best Transformers comics of 2018. So uh, first up, we just asked how many of the survey respondents actually do read Transformers comics, and uh, 82% of the respondents said yes. So uh, that fraction got to take the rest of the survey. If you said no, you don't read Transformers comics, we just ended the survey for you. Assumed you were (laughs) illiterate, and we didn't even, we just showed (laughs) pictures after that. (laughs) I mean, there's no point in asking you questions if you haven't read any of the comics. So so those 82% got to answer the rest of the questions. So uh, let's get the results. Uh, as we said at the beginning of the show, the uh, Tom B. Long Award for Excellence in Lettering 
goes to Tom B. Long with 90% no! of the vote. <laughs> <laughs> 90% of the vote is a pretty decisive victory, so uh, congratulations, Tom B. Long. Uh, he also <laughs> lettered, I think, everything. He, he lettered, like, everything except three books that were Transformers-related, so uh, it's no surprise that he wins. <laughs> if you're not a fan of his, ask tell us why. <laughs> what is it you don't like about his work? <laughs> uh, shout out to Sean Lee, who did get 9% of the vote. So uh, he did letter a few things. So Sean Lee, is a, I, he's a good letterer, too. So nothing against him, but Tom B. Long, he put in, he put in the majority of the work here. All right, uh, starting with uh, covers. So the best cover colorist for 2018. Uh, with 33% of the vote, that goes to Josh Burcham, uh, who did lots of covers for Optimus Prime, Lost Light, I also did Unicron number three, the Optimus Prime Annual 2018, and Requiem of the Wreckers. And uh, Josh, Josh is a very ver- versatile uh, colorist. He has lots of different styles, and, and it's nice to see him uh, display those those different styles. He's he's got a particular style for the Optimus Prime books that he's uh, he's been using for the last couple of years, and uh, uh, it's different from the style he's had in previous books. So it's it's always cool to see Josh's work. So like. I hang out with Josh on Red Dead Redemption Online. Yeah. <laughs> Every time I log into that fucking game, he is in a clothing shop buying pants. <laughs> he, is, he is the best dressed motherfucker in Red Dead Redemption Online. I swear to God. Okay, <laughs> I need to take a screenshot. I, I'd say you know, like it's off topic, and and fuck you, I'm not on very much. You have to listen to this, but but. Uh, I, I need to take a screenshot because you, you put the rest of my posse together and then Josh is like the standout pimp in the group. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Moving on. <laughs> You're welcome. Yeah. Uh, who is the best cover artist lines only for 2018? So uh, this category uh, was interesting because we had uh, basically a uh, Kazama who does all the uh, covers for Optimus Prime and, uh, and the interior art. Uh, so she had 60, she was in third place at 16% of the vote. Nick Roche, who does uh, a lot of the variant covers for Lost Light, and he did, uh, Unicron number three and his own book, Requiem of the Wreckers. Uh, he's got 26%. And coming in at first place with 32% of the vote, Alex Milne. Uh, he did all the covers, uh, the main covers for Unicron. He did some Lost Light covers from 13, 16, 17, and 25. So Alex Milne, a uh, longtime favorite Transformers artist, so not really a surprise that he would he would get the, the prize for best cover artist. Okay, uh, next we have uh, another category for the best full art and colors cover artist. So these are the folks who do both lines and colors and don't let uh, other people touch their work before they finish their cover. Uh, so this one really wasn't a contest with 80% of the vote, Sarah Peter Duroche. She had covers on the Talaller 1 Annual 2017, Transformers vs. Visionaries number 5, Bumblebee Movie Prequel number 1, Optimus Prime number 22, and Unicron number 0 and Unicron number 1. So, uh, not a big lot, not a whole lot of covers this year, but every cover she does is, uh, is very, st- it's a very standout images, the way she, does her lines and then has like a painterly style and her digital uh, coloring. So it's, it's very nice. So well-deserved. Congratulations. I, I really can't tell. I have like no, uh, information on how she dresses her avatar in red dead online. <laughs> she hasn't joined my posse. So if she wants to, Sarah, just shoot us an email and, uh, we'll set that up. Uh, do you know if she's actually playing red dead redemption? <laughs> Charles, I assume you guys are playing the game right now like I am. That's, that's, <laughs> the fact that you wouldn't be isn't a concept I can accept right now. All right. Well, <laughs> you, you have a failure of imagination, Yoshi. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, moving on. Now we're getting into the interior art. So who is the best regular interior color artist or ter- interior colorist for 2018? With 54% of the vote, a pretty decisive victory, Joanna LaFuente on Lost Light. Uh, she's been coloring uh, more than meets the eye and Lost Light for several years now, so I don't think it's really a surprise that people like 
her colors. And uh, I think Lost Light is pretty much a favorite among a lot of Transformers comics readers. So it's kind of their go to uh, for picking the, the winners. So congratulations to Joanna LaFuente. All right. Next, who is the best regular interior artist uh, for 2018? So doing the line art in the comics with 52 percent of the vote, another decisive victory. This goes to Alex Milne for the Unicron series. And I, I think we when we reviewed all the Unicron comics this year, we were always gushing over Alex's art because it was pretty outstanding. So not really surprised that uh, he took the top prize here. Uh, now we come to the comics writer for best comics writer for 2018. Again, a pretty decisive victory. 78% of the vote. James Roberts for Lost Light. And, uh, James has been, he's been winning this category pretty handily for the last few years. So not, not really a surprise here. Can uh, he do it again? Uh, probably not since he's not going to be writing anything <laughs> next year. So. Um, unless uh, maybe we don't know what the future will hold maybe they'll bring him back on on something before the end of next year but we'll see Uh, one thing one thing I did want to point out there was one answer in the best writer for 2018 uh, so that so I didn't specify Transformers comics writer and someone wrote in and said you didn't say TF writer so I'm going to say Mark Wade (laughs) okay (laughs) throw your vote away (laughs) all right uh, so next, what was the best Transformers comic series finale in 2018? So we had uh, three series wrap up this year. Optimus Prime, Lost Light, and Unicron. They all put an end to the Transformers IDW universe. Uh, and it is soon to be rebooted, rebooted in 2019. Uh, so this, again, was a pretty decisive victory with 68% of the vote. Lost Light, number 25. Uh, Unicron came in second with 21%, and Optimus Prime, 25, came in with 10% at third. Uh, so next, the best Transformers comic story arc in 2018, with uh, third per- uh, third place with 17% of the vote. We had the, the Unicron story arc, so the six-issue, or seven-issue series of Unicron, I should say, with issue zero. Uh, 20% of the vote in second place. The Scavengers interlude. So this was the two issues in Lost Light, uh, number 14 and 15, where we had the Scavengers adventure, where they, uh, where they were fighting against, uh, Scorponok and they had to, um, get, got Grimlock's brain repaired and then escaped. So, uh, all that good stuff. And with 38% of the vote coming in at number one for the best Transformers comic story arc in 2018 was Crucible, the, last story arc of Lost Light. So Lost Light issues number 19 to 24 that dealt with uh, the Lost Light saving the universe one more time from uh, the Functionist Cybertron that turned into a giant Primus robot and then the, um, uh, you know, stopping that from destroying our universe. Uh, so all that good stuff. So again, uh, you know, Lost Light is, uh, is, is leading the pack here in a lot of these awards. We come to uh, the next award, the best Transformers comics one shot of 2018. So this is a, you know, a single issue, usually a double sized issue uh, that that gives you just one meaty story. With 17% of the vote at third place, we had the Optimus Prime annual 2018 that was written by John Barber, art by Priscilla Tramontano and Andrew Griffith, colors by John Paul Bove and Josh Burcham. that was uh, the issue that dealt with the Optimus Prime uh, telling a flashback story of the first time he met uh, Bumblebee and and trying to explain to Pyra Magna uh, why that was why that story was important and you know the early days of, of the war and what what happened uh, with him and Bumblebee. Second place with twenty nine percent the To All Are One annual twenty seventeen and this was folded into this survey because it was released late in December 2017 after last year's survey was ended was ended that was written by Mar- Margaret Scott art by Sarah Peter Duroche and colors by Joanna LaFuente that was the uh, basically the the final uh, series end of the Till Aller 1 uh, series and ended the story arc of Starscream and Windblade Windblade uh, took over Cybertron uh, in an election uh, she was voted leader of Cybertron, and Starscream actually had a he, he had a 
a change of heart. He had a, he fulfilled his uh, the character arc he was going through until all are one and uh, confessed his crimes and and ended with uh, uh, going to prison. So that was a uh, that was a cool story arc. And with first place with fifty three percent of the vote, so pretty decisive victory here. Requiem of the Wreckers, writer Nick Roche, art Nick Roche, Jeff Senior, and Brendan Cahill, and colors Josh Burcham and Josh Perez. And yeah, this was the final chapter in the Requiem or the in the Wreckers saga. Uh, so it tied up all the loose ends from all the Wreckers uh, f- previous Wreckers series. Uh, ended Springer's story. Uh, also ended uh, Overlord and Tarantulas' stories. So. It was. A, I thought it was a really good, a good book and a good end to the Wreckers saga. So glad to see it won in this category. Now we come to the final uh, award. So this is the best Transformers comic series of 2018. Uh, and uh, if you've if you've been listening, you you probably won't be surprised by the uh, the final winner. Uh, but with th- in third place, with 7% of the vote, we had Optimus Prime, writer John Barber, art Keizama, colors Josh Burcham. Uh, second place with 17% of the vote, Unicron, the Unicron series, writer John Barber, art Alex Milne, colors Sebastian Cheng, and David Garcia Cruz. He, also, he also did coloring duties there. I should put his name in there. And f- in first place, with a... Very definitive, 75% of the vote, Lost Light. Writer, James Roberts. Art, Jack Lawrence. Colors, Joanna LaFuente. So again, Lost Light takes the top prize. And congratulations uh, to the Lost Light team uh, going out on the high note. Uh, and yeah, so this is uh, sadly the final year that we'll see the Lost Light series, or more than meets the eye series, win this award. So curious to see. Uh, if we're even going to have multiple Transformers series next uh, this year in 2019, so I wonder if <laughs> this award will even be relevant in 2019. But we'll see. So uh, that is the uh, comics awards for 2018. Uh, so I'll throw it to you guys. Did anything on this list that uh, you thought was wrong or right or surprising? So uh, Daryl, what, what were your thoughts on these survey results? Well, I I have to say I'm I'm. Uh, not surprised at all that uh, that Alex Milne won the awards that he did. Um, like you said, we 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 really were um, very pleased with the work that he did on on Unic- Unicron and uh, and the covers that he produced for Lost Light. Um, and then the work on Unicron specifically um, won him Best Interior Artist once again, which uh, I believe he's owned that award every single year. Um, and, yeah, I uh, think so. And this is, uh, uh, you know, like the the victory margin over Jack Lawrence was is huge, and it's uh, it's only on Unicron. I mean, he I don't believe he worked on any other book this year. Um, so Unicron, he did do Lost Lost Light thirteen. He did a guest. Oh, that's uh, right. Spot there, the one the one issue. Um, so yeah, so this is ever the other two that came in third and second here. They they had ongoings, you know, that were going the entire year. Now, Alex's books were, were, you know, larger and, and, and granted he had a, um, you know, uh, a bit of a later start and, and his ending was, was more recent, but, um, yeah, his art was just above and beyond the, the rest of it. I, I'm, I'm not surprised, but again, I'm just, it's just, it's, it's so much better than, than the stuff we were getting from everyone else. It kind of makes it unfair to everyone else. Um, and, and and again, once again, the, the books that, the, the book that James Roberts was working on, uh, just, just has a, a fandom in it that, uh, it defies my logic that why it wins sometimes, you know, I really had problems with its, uh, f- series finale. I thought the Unicron number six finale was, was way better. Um, but, uh, but it, you can't argue with the results. The the people voting really liked the Lost Light series better. Um, so uh, yeah. So I mean, I I personally don't like the the results on that one. But uh, but I can't argue with the way it went. Um, the uh, the artists though the in the cover artists and the uh, 
both both awards for cover artists actually went to Canadians. So I'm um, hey, look at that. <laughs> Happy about that. Um, oh, Canada. <laughs> <laughs> We produce great art, um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm. Uh, there were some really great comics produced this year, and uh, and I, I'm very hopeful for 2019. It's a, uh, it's kind of, uh, kind of anxious to see what they're going to do. Kind of scared, um, but uh, all in all, it'll be a fun year. Mm-hmm. Yoshi, uh, what do you think? I got nothing, Charles. I think that was summed up very well. All right, and uh, so that's uh, the the survey results for uh, the best Transformers comics of 2018. Uh, we also asked for feedback from the respondents just about our podcast and if they had any suggestions for us. Uh, we'll so- never do that again. <laughs> So uh, we we read some of it uh, that was more toy focused in the transmissions show. So here I, I took a few of the uh, alt mode uh, or comics and media focused uh, uh, comments and put them in here. So Yoshi, please take it away. All right. First one up. I wouldn't mind more of transmissions extra, maybe short episodes of major movie releases like the ones from Marvel and DC. Just a thought. More work. <laughs> <laughs> we we should, I think, uh, just to talk out loud, we should find a way to make this happen, even if it's something silly. Like, uh, you know, we're all going to see all the Marvel movies. We, we aren't going to do that. But if only two of us are available to talk about it, we should do that. We should we should put that to tape so that we get something out there. Uh, and even if it's short, like uh, like the submitter says, like I... Every time we do this, we have to carve out time from our families and from work to be able to record anything for this show, which is why I don't get to come on as much as I'd like to. Um, and to add on top of that more time, it's super hard to justify. But I don't know. I'll, I'll, I'll try to try to push <laughs> to do some of this stuff, <laughs> to quote The Simpsons. Because um, we've got some exciting movies coming out with uh, Captain Marvel and... Uh, the Avenger Stones and and fucking, <laughs> I'm sure there's something else awesome. <laughs> uh, but yeah, even if it's just two of us, I think I think that it's it's fun, and we should we should strive to entertain our audience. Mm-hmm. I'll also Take try your, to try. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I mean it's it's difficult. We we used to do a lot more of them, uh, but then we promised declassified episode every month to which we are now failing on so but uh yeah it's uh, it's difficult um we we have we we've come across some that we're able to pump out when you know somebody's running late we can we can generally uh record something when we're waiting for somebody to show up and that's half hour or 20 minutes or so and that's generally what the uh the extras were were originally planned to be but uh again We'll try to try. <laughs> it's because there's not a movie or something fun like that to, to talk about every week that we forget that that's what that time was set aside for doing. So, yeah, the, the key here, the takeaway is try to try. <laughs> <coughs> All right, next comment. Don't retell the plot of the comics you're discussing. It's boring. Oh, this is an annual question. <laughs> <laughs> well, so, I mean, the... the I guess the issue is we get a lot of feedback that for people who have who don't get the chance to buy every comic or read every comic, and they say they like the recaps because that allows them to keep up to date on the comic story and know what's happening, uh, even though they aren't able to buy the comics themselves. So I think that feedback outweighs this feedback. So sorry. Sorry to bore you. I wish we could somehow provide a link that said, you know, uh, just go to the to our thoughts on it. You know, skip that part and go to that part. That's what that whole iTunes chaptering shit was supposed to do for people. No, we can do that probably. Yeah. Maybe Who's that's a- use it. <laughs> More work for Mike. <laughs> Next comment: Shows. There are no TV or movie questions. I noticed, despite the relevant toys being plotted, pulled. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, I think I guess. The issue is there's the, at least the, the shows that are out. I mean, there's one show. Well, there's Cyberverse and there's Rescue Bots. Rescue Bots is not really for us. <laughs> Excuse me, Yoshi. Did you say Sorry. Something? Did I, I, I wasn't sure that was me. I thought that was Russian Yoshi. 
<laughs> I mean, we we have been discussing Cyberverse. I think uh, other than Yoshi, I think we've been enjoying Cyberverse. Rescue Bots is really not for us. I mean, we're we're none of us are three years old, um, and it's I, I guess it's I don't know. I think we, they're looking for questions on the shows though in the survey. Yeah, I mean, but I I don't know. That's why we didn't include them. Yeah, yeah we didn't. Because we don't necessarily care, we assume no one else does. <laughs> <laughs> right. If people, if I, I mean, <laughs> well, I, I will think about it for next year, but I, I'm not making any promises. <laughs> There's not a lot of questions. You, I mean, you could ask, like, you know, do you watch Cyberverse? Do you like Cyberverse? Yeah. And there was there's one movie. So what's the best movie? The best Transformers movie of 2018. Here's here's what happened. This is this is it because the four of us sat down and discussed this question just as Thanos snapped his fingers and we lost half the questions <laughs> and we lost Jeremy and we lost Jeremy. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta get me a gauntlet. All right, next comment. Uh, since Cyberverse and Rescue Bots Academy have started airing, maybe best episode of the series. That should have been a question, perhaps. See, see previous answer. <laughs> yeah, gauntlet. Gauntlet is the answer. Uh, next, return of the classic comic reviews. We try to slot them in whenever we don't have a comic, uh, you know, a new comic mm-hmm. to review. So maybe with the the new series rebooting this year, we'll have more open slots during the month to do some classic reviews. And Yoshi also, you know, what might be too. <laughs> uh, I'm just I'm just thinking out loud here, but I I'm. I'm I'm using air quotes and and keep in mind this is all relative, but I am getting ready to to ramp up on my personal reading of Regeneration One. We could um, use a little bit of that time before we start the show to talk about them. Talk about Regeneration One. Yeah. Oh, see our original episodes. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Never mind. Re- remember when you used to leave? Yes. <laughs> you used to you used to check out while we reviewed them because you didn't want to get spoiled. You know what? I'll just take my ago. ideas to other people who aren't going to give me shit for it. <laughs> I was thinking about that the other day. Be- Look, I will take this from Charles because he has more shareholdings than you do. He does have a lot of share. I, I give Daryl proxy power to give you shit. Fuck yes. you. <laughs> you fuck. <laughs> All right, next comment. <laughs> do, graphic no- uh, do graphic novel reviews? Maybe you do already, and I apologize if so. Aren't graphic uh, novels I mean, comics? <laughs> wow. <laughs> this I mean, guy just berated me for the last question. Comment. So we we review the single issues, so I mean I think like reviewing the collected graphic novel would probably be redundant, right? I mean we do review like the I guess you could consider like the, the one shot double sized issues graphic novels, like Requiem, Requiem of the Wreckers, we reviewed that. Um, the annuals, we reviewed those. So, um, we are, we also, we have the, the two Bumblebee graphic novels, uh, in our pipeline. Those will be reviewed eventually. So they're, they're on our list, but, uh, yeah, I mean, there has to be a Transformers themed graphic novel to review. So if there is, we're, we're not going to just review any graphic novel. Dude, the Immortal Hulk is fucking good. <laughs> but yeah, we're, we're not excluding graphic novels, uh, you know. On purpose or anything. Well, uh, I don't think we got any more feedback, Charles, because you didn't add it to the list, so we're done. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, I guess that'll do it for this uh, inaugural uh, uh, New Year's episode of Transmissions Alt Mode. Uh, we'll be back. Recorded in 2018. <laughs> yes. Uh, we will be back next week with a regular uh, Transmissions Alt Mode episode with a comic review. Uh Thanks, everyone, for listening. Let us know what you thought uh, of the Transformers comics of 2018. If, if you think these uh, the winners were correct or, uh, you know, if you have opinions on uh, how the voting went, let us know. So thanks, everyone, for listening. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye. Later. Hey, everyone. Thanks for listening to this episode of Transmissions. But just because this episode is over doesn't mean the Transformers fun has to stop. Join us and other Transformers fans on our Discord chat server by visiting transmissionspodcast.com slash Discord. If you would like to learn more about how you could support the Transmissions Podcast, just visit transmissionspodcast.com slash support. Thank you all for listening, and we'll see you again next week.